Brighton College. All right, I'm here now with Belinda, and uh, just you know, introduce yourself to you know myself, Close Look TV. What's going on with you? Who you are? Where you came from? And you know, just everything about you. Thank you. Well, my name is Belinda Dupuis. So my family is originally from Montreal, and we immigrated um, from France um, many, many centuries ago. Uh, growing up in British Columbia was 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 good, and uh, I grew up in the 80s, and things were very very different then. And e education wasn't um, as emphasized as it is now. So I didn't bother getting any extra education outside of high school, and uh, and I got to I I did a lot of traveling. And, and now um, being settled down and a mom, I need to continue on with my education. Being a stay-at-home mom was, was really good, but circumstances changed and my husband became ill and wasn't able to work. So when I started looking into different careers, nursing is something that I always wanted to get into as, as a small child but finances weren't there. And with this program, um, with, the, with the Home Support Worker program, I'm able to um, be a single mom and, and, and come to school part-time and fulfill my own personal values and work values, you know, which is helping people love to help people. So back in the day you were traveling around uh, and going to different places. Tell me about some of the places you've been to and maybe you know what experiences you got or life lessons you learned from going wherever you went and doing whatever you did. Traveling was really fun. I did a lot of traveling in and out of Alberta and sales. So I uh, we got to personalities is, is uh, the love of people came from a small child. But when I started to learn more life skills on how to deal with people, like when you go to a small town in Alberta, population 200, you know what I mean? And it, it's just, it, it's different. So I mean, tell me, tell me, you know, about the challenges with your daughter and your family life and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, maybe that just, you know, rejog and putting yourself in the mindset of coming back into the workforce and, uh, changing from you know a stay-at-home mom who's there every minute to really making that sacrifice because I know that's one heck of a challenge on its own. I have the opportunity to live in my mom's home so my daughter and I live in the basement suite which is really really nice. What do you do in that spare time? What makes you you? What gives you that freedom? You know what do you do with your family or your friends or you know any of those people? We my daughter and I sing a lot you know we we do a lot of singing we um, and we'll sing in front of people, we'll do birthday songs for people. Um, the family life is a lot of relaxation in the backyard in the summertime. Uh, a lot of, we, my daughter and I do archery, so we really, really love shooting and I love to cook. I love to cook. And if I have any spare time, I volunteer. Well, Melinda, so. thank you very much for taking this time to talk to us. This has been one successful event so far, and best of luck to you uh, with the rest of your program and in the future. Thank you, and blessings. Cheers.